good morning. Good morning, chicks. Good morning, Maybelline. Say good morning, Maybelline. We are up and ready for our day. Going to go to gymnastics and just check it on the chicks. They're trying to dig out. <laughs> Carrie, did they get your finger? Yeah. Carrie has already put it, put it, bricks and boards and such underneath there because they're trying to dig out already. We need to put, I didn't think they were big enough to be able to do that already, but we need to bury, um, we're gonna dig up and bury um, some of the wire so they can't get out and other predators can't get in. Um, we haven't had any tampers on or movement or noise on this um, chicken coop yet and it's been what two nights three nights I can't remember three nights um, no tampering of any sorts um, no scratching no anything uh, we don't really have a ton of predators we do have possums um, and they haven't yeah possums and they haven't um, I don't see any any signs of anything here but anyways we are Awesome. Gary's feeling better and we are um, going to go to Maple's Gymnastics today and then afterwards we're dropping Mama off back uh, so she can go to work and then we're running some errands. Yeah? You want to run some errands with Mommy? Yeah. Do you have your Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse jacket on? Yeah. Because it's cool this morning but it's... Um, gonna be like in the 80s today it's rodeo day at the gym that's not how this goes your turn show no no show me how to do it jump like a doggy get on your knees Mabel get down and do it look at coach look look at Kate get down and I'll help you jump
All right, so I'm trying to do a little bit of straightening up this afternoon because I have a play date with um, Celeste and Tilly. We went to the uh, Arboretum to see the pumpkins last week, I forget. Um, anyway, so uh, they're coming over here to our house and play. Um, we're just going to play with Mabel's toys and play with the, uh, look at the chickens and play in the backyard, in the yards and, and things like that. Just kind of, kind of having like a chill, relaxed um, play date. So I don't know what time she's getting here, um, but I just want to have the house straightened up for the most part. You know, everybody knows. Everybody knows that nobody's house is perfect. And mine sure isn't, especially with a toddler. Mabel is eating dinner. That's her second helping of corn. That amount. Broccoli with chicken strips. And she is watching Nightmare Before Christmas again because she is obsessed and she loves. I don't let her watch it every day, but if she could, she'd watch it several times a day because she, egg she asks and begs to do so. Don't you, baby? Tracy uh, came and picked up choppers, and let me tell you something that just, that happened tonight. One second. Okay, this is ridiculous, but what you guys don't know is I don't have a car. Chantel's supposed to pick me up, and she's not answering her phone. And I'm off work, so I've started the jog home. It's a little over five miles. I'm hoping she gets the message before I go all five miles, but if not, at least there's some charity miles for the app and for Hogwarts and for St. Jude, so we'll see how far we go. So far it's been about half a mile. Oh, Chantel. Okay, I've gone about a third of the way home, and uh, Chantel just called me. Apparently she forgot to turn the volume back up on her phone after Mabel's nap so she didn't know I was calling her and I said you know what it feels amazing out here it's like 60 degrees kind of cool in the air it may be lower than that beautiful night it's still early it's only like 8 20 you know what just stay home I'm just gonna walk jog all the way to the house it's a five mile trek I'll earn some miles for St. Jude raise a little bit of money and get a workout in so I'll see you guys back at the house so I am about ready to make dinner for me and Carrie I did a huge boo-boo I completely you know it's not normal for me to pick Carrie up from work and um, I forgot to and my phone was turned off the, the ringer was turned off from Maple's nap earlier in the day. I just completely forgot. And I completely forgot. And I looked at my phone. Because Tracy was coming to pick choppers up. And carry tons of calls and texts and everything. And so I call her back and she was just like, hey, listen. Um, I've started walking. So, or she sent a message, a voicemail. I started walking, so if you want to come pick me up, you can. I'll be on the same route you go You go to pick me up. And I'm just like, oh my goodness, I call her. And she goes, I'm doing great. I've already got one mile down. And it feels fabulous outside. It's 74 degrees. She goes, it feels fabulous out outside. She hasn't been able to get a walk in because she pulled. Well, first of all, she was sick yesterday. Um, and... The day before yesterday, I think, remember, and yesterday and today, her calf was hurt, is hurting her really, really bad. She pulled a muscle. I mean, she couldn't even bend down. It hurt so bad. So, apparently, it's feeling better or she's, it's, she's like, walking it out. Um, but I keep on texting her and calling her and we're like, are you sure? Can I come get you? She's like, no, this feels great. She did uh, two miles in 30 minutes, 30 or 40-ish minutes. So... Babe, I'm proud of you. And Tracy, Chopper's mom's mom, and I don't know, if, has Tracy been on the phone? I can't remember. Uh, Chopper's mom says that she's proud of you too, babe. Because, I mean, you're just, you're doing fantastic and you're doing amazing. And I couldn't be more proud of you. I love you. Guys, well, I'm freaking out a little bit because 
I called Carrie and she didn't answer. Now's not the time to not hear your phone. And I'm freaking out. I know she told me she had a big stick and everything. and But that's why I wanted to go pick her up. Because this worries me. Being out there in the middle of the night. Oh, God, Carrie. So I'm still walking. <laughs> it's been about an hour uh, right at, I guess. I have about one more mile to go. I have a great big stick. I don't know if y'all can see it that I found uh, by the park right about a mile and about a mile in, maybe a mile and a quarter in. So I've been carrying this big stick for protection. But I am uh, on the last mile now. Almost home. You can't even see me out here, but Oh, here comes a light. Maybe you can see me a little bit anyway. There I am. Anyway, I'm almost home. I feel very accomplished. I had a, a strained calf on my right leg for a couple of days and wasn't able to do much. And it was really bothering me yesterday, but I'm not having any trouble, so it's good news all around. All right, last mile, and then I'll vlog me getting back to the house. I know y'all are super excited to see that, so... All right, I'll see you in a few minutes. Cheese and crackers, she called me back. Okay, I can stop pacing the floor and freaking out and get back to the burgers that I was cooking. But all clean, steamed up. <laughs> Yum. Yum. There's like little nuggets, but I promise they're yum, yum, yum. All right, we're outside. Waiting for Carrie. Here comes Carrie. Here comes Mama. Here comes Mama. Here she comes. You see her? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> She's all Mabel. A present from Kristen came in the mail from you again to you again. A present from Mabel? You want to open it up? Yeah. Okay, come on, open it. Are you excited? You want me to hold your nectarine? Ooh. Ooh. What? what is it, baby? Do you want me to open it up? Yeah. <laughs> what is that? Peppa oh. shoes. Peppa slippers? Slippers. Are they house slippers? House slippers. You like that pink shiny heart? Look, show show the vlog. Hold it up and show the vlog. Oh my goodness. You want to try them on? Yeah. Feel the in it. I see everything. Mama, help you? Oh my goodness, baby. Look at that. You just walking around in them. <laughs> Are they super soft? Yeah. We took the, the little baby coop out. <laughs> Look at you! Because we don't have little baby chickens anymore. I know it. We have teenagers. <laughs> Maybe, are those super soft? Do you love them? Say thank you, Kristen. 
I say I love them. <laughs> oh, bro, kisses. No way. Knock me over. I will get back up again. Now it's time to, to say, say goodbye, goodbye to all our Maybellines. Or good night. I don't know. Yeah, good one. night's what comes natural to me. Okay. Yep. M A B E L E E E N S. Maybelline. no matter what that gets her into a good mood mm -hmm. not tonight I guess no ah! <laughs> <All right. laughs> okay okay smoke if you guys enjoyed the vlog click thumbs up and subscribe and we'll see you tomorrow bye, bye.